Hello friends, welcome to another zombie preparedness video. Today I'm doing going to do a product review on the Weston seed multi seed grinder. Um, folks, do your research on the internet. Kind of believe what they say because uh, I think this product is adequate, but it's not a wow. So stick with me and see what I see why why I think so. Now, the Weston grinders, mills, if you will, um, used to be made in South America, and now we see that they're made in China. Um, if you're just getting into grinding seeds and grain, this might be an okay thing. That's, you know, I didn't know what to expect from it. I felt that 20 bucks was a reasonable enough pr price to try it out. Not to mention I got it from Kitchen and & Company. And they have a 90 day return policy on the seed grinders. Um, they, will not re they will not accept to return meat grinders, but the seed grinders they'll, they'll take back within 90 days. I don't know, I, I still haven't decided whether I feel like I need to return this one or not. Um, made in China, it's uh, not stupendous construction, I'll just make the box go away here. It comes packed like this, the rubber foot is free, the handle's reversed first thing you have to do is disassemble the grinder. There are a few parts. We have the adjusting burr, the crank, a washer, and the burr. Now this is a little dirty because I haven't washed it since uh, doing some experimentation, but uh, you'll notice in here there's already some pretty significant wear. Most of the wear on these parts I put on by running it dry with no grain in there because I could feel immediately that there was an unbalanced um, casting in here. Now this is just a white metal. It's not steel or iron. Um, it is going to corrode pretty easily. So uh, they recommend that you wash it, wash your parts when you take it out of the box. Initially, wash the parts in warm soapy water and then dry thoroughly. You want to dry thoroughly because this is uh, that the cast finish is not going to be last very long, and you're going to have rust in no time. But pretty simple to put it together. Of course, we need to put the handle on the correct way and then just tighten up the burr till it's just touching. Put the rubber foot on. Don't want to use this without the rubber foot. And then just swing the camera over here. takes a pretty decent area to be able to mount this puppy and my countertops are not the best for it but if we can get that in there and we want to get it as tight as we can without having it pop off If my countertop was a little finer or a little deeper on the ledge, this would be a whole lot easier to mount. That's not a deficiency of the product, though. That's just the way my countertops are made. 
Now for the test, we're going to use some dock seeds. Dock seeds, if you're watching the dock video, you will know by now are once they've been de-hulled are approximately the size of a poppy seed, maybe a little larger. Here's our first thing that I don't like about it. It's not designed to be very friendly to common containers. This is a, a, a simple one pint uh, container like you might get from a Chinese food store and it just doesn't fit under there neatly. So we'll use this one instead. And then it's just a matter of turning the crank. Let me see if I can get this at a better angle. Okay, so I remounted that so I could get it nice and snug. I really hate when it walks around like that. Now the burr adjustment on this is just touching. And that would be what I would consider coarse. And we're getting a pretty decent grind. Some of the seeds are only cracked and some of them are actually pretty finely ground. Obviously, you would want this to be mechanized. The crank is just a hair over five eighths of an inch, which is a common size for a common depth for a pulley shank or a pulley uh, center. So you could mount a pulley on here, but beware, Weston says that if you modify, then your warranty is voided. As if we had to be told that. But you could mount a pulley on here. The axle is keyed, so you need, or not keyed, but uh, has a flat surface, so a set screw, you would need a pulley shank with a set screw a set, yeah, set screw rather than a key. So that was a quarter cup of grain and that ground down to about 50% volume. For those watching the dock video, now I'm just going to tighten that up a little bit again those watching the dock video, that's one-eighth reduction. So one-eighth reduction in volume, that means to get one cup of flour, we need to grind the dock seed, grind eight cups of dock seeds. So this is coming out pretty fine here. I have a little bit of reduction in volume from this point, but not a whole lot. So, one eighth of a cup from one cup of raw seeds, not the hold. Not too difficult to operate once you have it mounted correctly. This could go through another time if we wanted to get some more of this coarse stuff ground up, but this is pretty fine. A bit as fine as I would expect from about as fine as I would expect from flour, a little bit finer than cornmeal.
Yes, about an eighth of a cup. So there we have it, folks. Weston multi seed grinder. And uh, not a wow. Uh, demonstrations I see on the Country Living Mill is really great, but that's a fairly expensive mill. Got a lot of variety for grind size and easy adjustability. That's the way I'd like to go, but yeah, you know, I'm just breaking into milling grains here, so 20 bucks. It's adequate. It's going to do the job. Is it wonderfully machined? No. Is it is it a little bit hard to operate? Yeah. Yeah. So adequate, but not a wow. I've got a whole bunch of whole bunch more dock seeds to grind up here and uh, hopefully you're going to watch the dock video and see how that comes out into some nice little comestible but folks thanks for watching thank you for your subscriptions thank you folks for your comments I'd like to answer your comments um, you know it's great to share things like this with you I'm glad that you have an interest in natural foods, whole, wild foods, and I'm glad you came along for this journey as we learn how to process some dock seeds. And uh hope the uh, review on the seed grinder was helpful to you. Go ahead, get one if you want, if you're just breaking into it. Twenty bucks is, is cheap. Well, folks, Thanks again for watching. Remember, the knowledge you carry in your head, it weighs nothing and it takes up no room in your bag. Thanks for watching. Oh, oh, oh.